Why should you always chug your water versus sipping it? Well, I'm a little thirsty, so let me, uh, let me take a chug real quick. <sighs> All right. So why should you chug versus sip? Well, I learned this from watching animals. Right When I was dating someone, she had a dog and fell in love with the dog and I would pay attention to the dog and play with the dog and take it out for walks. And I noticed it didn't really drink a lot of water. And when it did drink the water, I was like, why is it just like constant? It just would chug and chug and chug and chug and chug. And then again, I would barely see it. It maybe get a little bit of water here and there, but when it really needed water, it would sit and chug and chug and chug and chug. Obviously it can't chug like a human being, but it would sit there for a very long time. Usually that was after it ate. So if you think about how your body operates, it has to have an electrolyte balance. And this is why when you have sports drinks, they have sodium and potassium in them because those are electrolytes and your body needs those, especially if you've been sweating, you're gonna sweat out water and, and, and fluids, but with that water is going to be electrolytes, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, those types of things. So with that being said, if you're eating, usually the food is what has the electrolytes, the vitamins, the minerals. Not everybody's drinking, I mean, some people now are always drinking uh, sports drinks all throughout the day, which I wouldn't recommend because there's ton of, tons of sugar in them. But if you're just drinking water, a lot of times the water, unless if it's really high quality water, like Avion and Fiji, they, it doesn't have a ton of electrolytes in it. It's just, it's like tap water. Um, I add a little bit of like electrolyte stuff in my water sometimes, or maybe like a little pinch of Himalayan salt or sea salt or something like that to help get a little bit more electrolytes in it, especially the sodium, because that's what we, we need. Sodium is not that bad for you, as many people like to uh, think about. Table salt is bad, but actual the minerals involved. So anyways, what we're, what we're talking about is the balance, right? So if I eat food, my minerals, my electrolytes, all that stuff goes up. But your body wants to maintain the right balance between the amount of water in your system, the amount of fluid in your system, and the amount of electrolytes. So if I'm sipping throughout the day, okay, and maybe that's, that's okay if you have a really, really um, high salt diet, which a lot of people have, but even still, getting back to nature, and animals and how we used to, you know, survive. We didn't have water bottles and, and this access to a water cooler all the time. So when we drank water, we chugged it down, we got as much of it in our system, and that's when the body can start to balance things out. If you just get a little sip here, a little sip here, it doesn't necessarily like to transfer into the body. It kind of doesn't know what to do. Again, getting back to the, the dog example, it eats its food, it chugs the water, it goes pee, goes poop, does its thing, and it's out running around doing whatever it needs to do. That's you as a human being. We've gotten into this pattern of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, couple snacks, water here, soda here, coffee there, wine at night. We were constantly bombarded, but that's not how your genetics were designed. Your genetics were designed for scarcity. You didn't have a water bottle or a water cooler or a faucet or a fountain or any of these types of things. You didn't have food in the fridge or whatever. So we were built off of scarcity. So taking that into consideration, if whenever you do get a chance to drink water, you drink a little bit more than you think you need. So maybe you're a little thirsty. Instead of just taking a sip, chug it down. Like I just did at the beginning of the video, chug it down. And what happens is it starts to trigger to your brain. Okay, let's start balancing these things out. So it starts to absorb better, and especially after you eat, not maybe immediately after you eat, but you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes or so, let your food start to digest. You don't wanna wash and flush your food down. That might you know, mess with your uh, uh, digestion a little bit. But after, right, you know, wake up in the morning and you have some water, but after you eat, you can throughout the day have some water, but whenever you grab that water bottle, chug it down. Number one, it's gonna help you drink a little bit more water, which 
if you are eating crap food, it's going to help you kind of cleanse the body. But your body will then again kind of kick on and say, oh, okay, water's coming in. Let's start balancing things out. It'll pee out whatever it need, doesn't need. It'll absorb what it does need. But if you constantly just give it like little shots of water here and there, it might not trigger the brain to do those things. And it might actually be more detrimental to the brain. I've actually listened to some people talk about that. I don't know how scientifically accurate that is, that it actually can be damaging for the brain and damaging for the tissues. But something that I've noticed as some, someone who is always with their water bottle, I'm holding it this entire time through this video, um, I was someone who was always sipping here and there. And I noticed that I, I didn't feel, I always felt thirsty. I always, um, I, it didn't feel like the water was really hydrating me when I did that. And because I was taught, you should be sipping. You should be sipping here or there. You shouldn't be chugging. But when I started to watch and pay attention to nature, again, with uh, the dog example, and if you think going back in time when we didn't have water bottles or faucets or fountains or anything like that, how did we stay hydrated? How did we survive in extreme weather and cross the Bering Strait? And, you know, I mean, like we did crazy things without any of this stuff. Now you ask somebody to go walk uh, a mile without a water bottle in, in 100 degree heat and they'll tell you that they're going to die of, of heat exhaustion. And it happens. People do all the time. So what's going on with that? How are we not able to tap into our primal instincts. And I think that's one of them. We're, we're constantly bombarded with food, constantly bombarded by all these different things going on and our body doesn't know how to equalize it. One of the ways that you can start equalizing is when you grab that water bottle, drink a little bit more than you think you need. So that's why I say chug it down, chug it down. I've noticed since I started doing that, I don't go to the bathroom a ton. I, like, I don't go pee all the time. So it's not, I know that my body is absorbing it. And I don't feel so freaking thirsty all the time. And that was an interesting thing. It's like, I'm drinking the same amount of water that I was, but the way that I'm drinking it is different. And I feel more hydrated. I'm not going to the bathroom as much. And it's, again, probably due to the fact that my brain and my body understand what's going on. Okay, he had his food. He had this, the electrolytes are in this balance. When I get this kick of water, especially if it doesn't have a ton of minerals in it, if it doesn't have the perfect balance to your body, your body's gonna have to find a way to balance it out. And that might be by peeing it out, sweating it out, um, you know, excreting it some other way. But it will find that balance a little bit better because for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, that's how we were able to get our water in. So your body is more used to that versus having a coffee here, having a soda here, having a water there, having a glass of wine or a beer. It, it doesn't, that's foreign to it. It's very, very, very new to the body. So with your liquids, with your fluids, but water especially, especially because it doesn't have all of the electrolytes. It doesn't have all the extra stuff that it might need, that your body might need. It might just be pure H2O. If that's the case, chug it down, your body will then equalize, it'll pee out the excess, and then you're good to go. So that's why you wanna chug your water, your body knows what to do, look at animals when they chug, look at your dog when they go to their, their water. Maybe they have like, they need to wet their, the same thing with you, you don't need to always chug, but I'm saying when you get to that water bottle, usually take a chug. Maybe you need to wet your whistle here or there just because you've been talking like I have, or you've been doing something and maybe your throat's a little drier. You know, you know, you can, you can take a sip here and there. I'm not saying be a Nazi about this. What I am saying is, is start to, I challenge you, start to notice if you start to change your, change your habits. If you're a water drinker like myself, start chugging it down and notice what that does to your body. Notice the amount of times you have to go to the bathroom Notice how many times that you're thirsty. When you're thirsty, that sim that's, uh, sensation of thirst, you're already dehydrated. So you want to kind of stay ahead of it. That's why I say chug it down. Anytime you get that water bottle, hey, I, have, I don't think I've had water in a while. Chug it down. Chug it down. I try to get, well, the, the you know, adage is 
half your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you want to drink 100 ounces. I try to get, you know, a couple of these, these are 40 ounces. I try to get a couple of these every single day, minimum two, probably around two and a half. Um, I'm around 165 pounds. So 80 ounces around there is, is pretty good for me. So two, two and a half, you know, I'm active. So I need maybe a little bit more water. So that's a guideline. So if you're not hitting that, start to crank up your water, but an easy way to do that is by chugging. If you try to sip a glass of water here, a glass of water there, a little bit here, a little bit there, you might not be able to get to your number, but also it might not be as healthy for you. So again, get back into your nature, get back into your genetics that have been designed to chug, chug it down.